My name is Dr. Sunila Vegunta, one of the assistant professors at the Mayo Clinic in Arizona. Our topic is uh, screening high-risk women for cervical cancer, special groups of women who actually need more frequent screening. So our topic is covered by women's healthcare specialists. My co-authors are Dr. Megan Watson, uh, who is in the department of OBGYN, and uh, Dr. Julia Files, uh, who is in the medallion program but has a special interest in women's health issues. In our practice, we see a lot of transplant women, post-transplant. They come in for uh, cervical cancer screening, and they come in for a well woman exam, and part of that well woman exam is cervical cancer screening. So many of our colleagues actually consult us and ask us about how often do they need to screen patients who are post-transplant. They also ask us about other high-risk groups of women who are HIV positive or exposed to DES in utero or immunosuppressed for various other reasons. And we thought it's a good topic to uh, talk to primary care providers and uh, help them out in sorting out what are the current recommendations uh, for cervical cancer screening in these special groups of women. So we all know that uh, HPV is the most common sexually transmitted infection. Most women actually get this, but the immunocompetent women, almost 94 to 96% of them, are able to clear that within a matter of one to two years. But immunosuppressed women, uh, they do not clear this as frequently, and the persistent HPV infection is what leads to cervical cancer. So um, as the immunosuppressed women are at a higher risk for persistent HPV infection, they also uh, get cervical cancer more frequently. So we did try to provide some guidance to uh, primary care providers um, in some areas that there are no guidelines or societal recommendations at the present time. Uh, for example, in a uh, woman who has been exposed in utero to uh, DES, once she has a hysterectomy, uh, cervical cancer screening, what happens to that? So uh, when you look at special groups of women and uh, consider what we are doing for average risk women, we are now screening average risk women on a frequency of three to five years. Five years if they also get HPV testing. But that does not pertain to high risk women because they are at a much higher risk for persistent HPV infections, which puts them at a much higher risk for cervical cancer. So for these women, we recommend more frequent screening. So that's the message that we really want to get out there. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.